guys <laughs> well what's up guys turning here um i just kind of recorded this whole video and the first source video of it was uh uh corrupt i don't know how that happened um so i'm recording it again yeah 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 but uh anyway guys in this video yeah in this video tutorial I'll, I'll show you how you uh how you start your 1.8 minecraft server um so anyway guys let's get right into it some first things you're gonna need is you need uh java J uh java jdk Installed. So if you don't know how to install that, just Google it. Um, I mean, just Java JDK install. Then you're gonna go right here, Java SE. Then all you gotta do is download it. JDK right here. Oh, download. But anyway, I'll leave the I'll leave a link in the description probably for that. Um, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna want to download right there. So anyway, guys, uh, the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need Git for Windows. Now, I don't know if you're on Mac, if you're on Mac or Linux, which probably none of you are. But well, I don't know about Mac, but some people. Okay, Mac, just I don't know. Maybe maybe it's included in Mac. I don't really see a Mac section right here. Um, whatever. Just okay. I don't I don't know what you do for Mac, but for Windows you need Git uh, Linux. I'm not sure if you need it. Whatever, yeah, if you run, deep. whatever. Okay, if you if you have Linux, you're probably not gonna be watching this video tutorial. I mean, yeah, <laughs> mainly for the Windows people out there. But anyway, you're gonna want to download Git for Windows. So download it here. You're gonna get an installer. I'm not gonna install it because I already did. Uh, you're just gonna want to run it and install it on your computer. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is the build tools. So what I like to do is, uh, I have to make. Give me a second. I have to go back to the folder because. Um, dun dun dun, where's my folder at? Oh, desktop, that's where I put it. Now give me a second, let me delete everything because it kind of screwed up. And the whole thing is corrupt, so now I gotta start all over again. Okay, delete that. Delete that. Okay. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna want to download the build tools. Just click buildtools.jar and it will download. I already have it saved, so I'm not gonna download it again. But uh, look at that movie maker. Top kick. Okay. So anyway, build tools. You're gonna want to go here, and you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to make a shell script. Uh, you don't have to. Um, there's other ways of doing it, like opening up Git and then typing in a bunch of commands. But guys, trust me, this is ten times easier for you to do. Now I'll put this in the description if you don't want to type it out or copy it. But it's really simple. You just gonna want to right-click, new text document, and then just name it whatever you want. So I'll just name it Start. I already have one made, but I'm just gonna show you how to make it in case you don't know how. Uh, then you're just wanna open it up with Notepad or whatever you're, you're on. Let's go make that smaller. You're gonna wanna go back to the bucket or the spigot, or whatever. This form post, and you're gonna wanna go to the down to the bottom. Where it says Windows, that big word, I don't want to try to pronounce it right now. And you want to do on a little bit more, okay. And you're going to go down right here. So if you have a 32-bit Windows, you're going to want to copy this, whoops, right here. If you have a 64-bit, you're going to want to copy this. So I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to copy and paste that in here. And then all the last thing you're going to want to check before we run this is let me open build tools you're going to want to check what jdk version you have installed so if you just installed jdk uh by clicking right here this is installing the 8 u 25 i don't know um <laughs> then this this should work right off the bat but if it doesn't for some reason you're going to want to go to wherever you install jdk so mine's in program files right here you're going to want to go to the JDK folder. So you see I'm running 1.7.0. underscore 51. You're going to want to copy that. And you're going to want to go back into the start.txt file. And you're going to want to paste it over the uh, directory location of it. I think that you already have it. I think that's how you say it. Okay. So once you do that, you're just going to control S or file save. No, oh, actually, you're going to want to file save as. And you're going to want to select all file types or all files. And you're going to want to name this .sh or start.sh or whatever you want to name it. And that will start to sh that'll make a shell script for you. So you're going to close that, close this. And now, I don't even know which one I made. I think I made start, yeah. 
So I'll delete this one. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start. You're going to want to have your build tools in here. And then wherever you, you want to have the start.sh and build tools in the same exact folder. So I have mine in a... Oh my gosh, okay. I have mine on my desktop in a build tools folder. And that's what I suggest you do. Uh, you're going to want to start right here. Now it's going to load a whole bunch of stuff. And you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff on your screen. Um, just let it all go through. Some computers it could take 10 minutes. Some it could only take two. Mine usually takes like one or two minutes. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will be back once that is done. So it's done and I'm back. Uh, one thing I'm going to say too before I start is the build tools. Um, <clears throat> whenever a new one comes out, this will make it a lot easier you just have to go back to the website and go to the last like successful build so once a new one comes out you just download it again replace this one and hit start and it will automatically patch all your um what do we call it it'll patch everything so anyway these are actually new um, let's try actually i'm gonna i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take a let me just test this really quick guys because there's two places you can get it and just give me a second Maybe you can get it from here now. We're just going to try it out because I'm not sure if it will work. Because I usually get it from a different location inside these folders. So, first of all, it's uh, by a stupid Eula. GG Notch and Mojin and Jeb and Dinnerbone and Grum because you all suck. Okay. So, actually, it seems like you can just grab it right out of there. Let me start my Minecraft really quick and I'll... Make sure I can connect to it with 1.8.1. Mm. Mm. Fuck drag. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. That's 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 good. Uh, cause usually I'll show you what. Uh, so it looks like it it puts it right in your um, whatever directory this is called. But like the last version didn't really do that. So you'd have to go to spigot, spigot server, uh, target. And then it'd be the spigot. This would be the jar you would use right here. So I guess, I, I mean, I guess though it puts it right here. So that's great. So you just want to copy this jar and you're going to want to put it inside your server folder. Uh, now, if you don't know how to like start your server, um, you're going to need to make a batch file. Or I mean, you don't need to, but I would suggest to make it. Otherwise, you're going to have to end the process in your command or in the test manager every single time. So how you make one is you just make a new notepad file and you can, oh, look at all them, look at all that, look at all that. Okay. So you just make a new, you probably couldn't even see that, I don't even know. If you could, that's pretty cool. Okay. So you just need to make, I mean, you can copy and paste this. This is just the one I use. Uh, I don't know, I might have a few other ones that I can, I'll paste them in the description as well. Um, let me check really quick because I do, I did use, use a few different ones. This one's pretty long. Uh, I'll, uh, just use if you guys don't have one just use this one um you just want to make sure this is your uh jdk or not jdk sorry this is your java directory and if not you're going to want to go find your java directory and put it in here if you don't know how to do that you just go here you just pretty much you want to you just want to find your java directory so mine's in local disk whatever in c java or program files and it's in Java, JRE7, and then bin, and then java.exe. So then you're going to want to copy copy and paste this, and then paste it in this, and put java.exe at the end of it, if you need to do that. Otherwise, just save that, and then you want to save as, you want to save it as all file types. So down here, make sure it's on all file types, and save it as a .bat file, so that stands for batch. So once you do that, you'll get a file that looks like this, start.bat, and then you just start the server. So I'm connected. Let me switch over to my game capture. Come on. There we go. All right. So as you see, I'm on a 1.8 server right now. So if I opt myself and I do slash version, you can see I'm running the 1.8 version and I do slash game mode one. I get, I can get all the new blocks and place them down. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, guys, that's that's how you do it. Uh, maybe there's a maybe, maybe is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Nope, guess not. The only thing I don't like is like 
all the fucking ocean seems to be just gravel now. I don't know why. Seems like, seems like the bottom of the ocean is just gravel. I just feel I don't know. I just I just don't like how that looks. I like I like that kind of ocean better. But, oh, here it is. These must not be that rare, but I mean, guys, another little sneak sneak peek at 1.8. If you don't know how to get sponge, you can get sponge in these little nasty little devils. So there we go. There's some sponge. What the heck? I did not know they spawn like that. I thought you could. That's weird. I thought you could only get sponge by killing these big, like, I don't know, like fat fucking fish thingies. I don't know. I don't see them. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Um, I don't know. Since I read this video, I'm not sure if I talked about this in the before the video. But uh, I'm going to be start uploading more to this channel. Um. I don't know if I explained that. In the other video, I explained why I didn't really upload, but yeah, I must not have uploaded that. Badass. Uh, no, I didn't upload that because the first file corrupts, so that's why I'm making this video. But anyway, guys, um, pretty much if you just wanted to know how to install Spigot, then you can leave right now. Like, that's it. The tutorial is done. I'm just going to be talking about what's going to be going on my channel and why you should totally subscribe to me and be an awesome subscriber uh but anyway guys so i mean i like you can tell i haven't done a video in like a long time because i keep repeating the same stuff and my thoughts are all fucked up and jambled around and jumbled around whatever so anyway so i'm going to be uploading more to this channel uh, i'm going to be doing like minecraft tutorials uh like i'll do i'm gonna do bucket tutorials and like or plugin tutorials and stuff and how do you like update your bucket server and stuff like that and your spigot server and once sponge comes out and glowstone i'll be doing tut uh, tutorials on those which if you don't know those are other kind of server i guess software would you call them or mod server mods for minecraft that are coming out um but once those are out i'll do tutorials for those so in case you want to use those uh, i'm also learning learning java so hopefully in a year or two uh once i have a big big foothold in it I can start doing tutorials on that because I'd really like that because I I feel like there's a lot of people who want to learn they just they don't know where to take their first steps and that was kind of how I am and now I've just been following some tutorials watching some taking some classes and yeah hopefully it will go good uh the other thing I'm going to be posting to my channel is probably currently I'm going to see how it goes but currently me and my buddies are playing a survival server uh just vanilla 1.8 straight up vanilla uh, I might be posting videos of that or maybe like contraptions we make eventually uh, but the last thing I'll probably post on my channel is like some sort of like Minecraft tutorials. So like, why am I swimming? I'm creative. Uh, so like Minecraft tutorials in general or like little redstone contra contraptions or something. So say something like really simple. So maybe like uh, top five, I don't know, redstone, top five redstone stuff you need for your survival server. I don't know. It'd probably be a way better, super cool name than that, but you get the kind of point. It's just going to be kind of, I, I want to do a video. Like if you were subscribed to me on my old channel, which was, um, uh, Minecraft Builder HD, I did, a, I pumped out like a video day. I don't know how I did it, man. That was when I was like, that was when I was like three years ago. I think that was holy shit. That was a long time ago. But anyway, I did a whole bunch of tutorials, like how to install mods and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that since, they're pretty much, they all like pretty much all the mods use Forge now, um, and uh, you just install Forge, and then once you have Forge installed, you can just add all your mods to that. And I mean that's, I mean that's all you have to do now. Like back when you had to show people how to install it, you had to go and drag all the files in, and you had to delete the meta.inf, and then ugh, pain in the butt. But now I don't know what to do. But anyway, guys, this has gone on for long enough. I want to thank you guys for watching. If anybody watches this like long, just comment and say it, cause like you're awesome. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be in the next few days. But anyway, guys, see ya.